So one thing, one area of crypto that you're super involved in and have been for a while is the NFT space. Uh, obviously, a lot happening, and that term encompasses a lot of different types of projects. Um, but give us your view on what's happening with NFTs these days, uh, you know, whether it's on the ETH side, Solana side, Ordinals. Uh, the market's definitely not as active as it was during that last bull run. Uh, but what's exciting you about NFTs? Man, it's very interesting what's happening with NFTs. It's in a very deep lull period. Um, and I think that's mostly because they were over hyper, like they were hyper inflated, uh, attention wise mm -hmm. and financially in the last bull run, you know, when you could sell a monkey picture for 300 K like, yeah. come on, yeah. you know? <laughs> um, and so I think the market's just recalibrating in general, trying to figure out what the actual value of these things are and how do you actually define the value of them? Um, I think a lot of people have become over like sensitized to the fact that the markets went down so much and they lost so much money. A lot of the NFT people were like new to crypto. They weren't actually like OGs in crypto. Actually, most yeah. OGs in crypto faded a lot of the NFTs. Yes. 100%. Um, and so when the market is in such a state, it's really just trying to recalibrate to determine what the value is and how to value it at. And as we're kind of navigating that right now, it's actually really fun for me. I like it because a uh, we're redefining what value means. You know, um, I think a lot of the previous value in the last bull market was determined off of speculation, which is natural for crypto and totally OK. But we're actually seeing that uh, the market is now kind of redetermining what the value is by saying we actually want products or we actually want real utility. Um, and we're also re recalibrating in the aspect of like new things coming up, like ordinals and and actually understanding the actual value behind them. Like in, in 2021, 2022, nobody gave a fuck if your NFT was on IPFS. They didn't give a <laughs> shit. Why would yeah. they? It's going up 100% a day. You, you know, you can, sell, you can sell pictures for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Like nobody really cared. You know, but now yeah. ordinals are bringing a whole new aspect to the the like institutions and and to 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 the community in general by saying, wow, this is actually inscribed on chain and it's actually like valuable due to the fact that you can't change the metadata, you can't change the actual images. Um, I still think there's a lot of speculation behind it, and then people are still trying to actually determine like like the whole rare Satoshi versus low inscriptions versus all of these different metrics that people are defining as quote unquote valuable. That's just right. the community saying it and people buying into a narrative, which is okay. It's all part of the crypto game, but we're still trying to define it. Um, and so where I kind of think NFTs are at right now is, is, is at that little period. It's at this period where people are like, have broke, have finally broken down where they thought value was and are now like, sometimes are they're, they're really speculative, but sometimes over speculative about what actual value really means. And for me personally, what I think like is actually a benefit of all of this, if you kind of just slow down and, and stop speculating on stuff as much, it's what I've done over this bear market. I stopped speculating on NFTs like as heavily, you know, I'll buy things I like here and there, mm -hmm. but really what, what it's showing is that the value of NFTs has always been the same. It's been community, you know, and community is such a buzzword. So people are, are who listen to this might be like, <laughs> Oh, well uh, community, but no, in reality, the benefit that comes from buying an NFT is being integrated with a group of people that have a similar mindset to you. And it's much more abstract than saying, oh, I'm going to get a game out of this, or I'm going to be able to participate in this or participate in that. It's much, much different, which is actually what I like about them. I actually think it's okay because as people try to define actual value, everyone will have a def different definition. As people try to define utility, they'll have a different definition. But what can't be denied is the fact that when you join a Sappy Seals, when you join a Pudgy Penguins, when you join a D-Gods, all of a sudden, you have a group of people that have a similar mindset to you, that you have, that are doing the a similar, if not the same things that you do every single day that you can communicate with around those things. And most people in life don't have that. Like most people in life don't have a group of people that they can communicate what they're like experiences have been what their enjoyments are what they like and have other groups of people be like yeah i like that too or i've been through that too and it's very abstract but i actually think it's it's the 
greatest benefit that you can get from an NFT community or from any community. You know, in 2017 to 2018, 2019, 2020, we didn't really have NFTs. There were NFTs, but they weren't popular and there yeah. weren't as deeply ingrained communities around them. You know, there was a group of people that would be buying crypto punks that had like that, like that shit, but nobody really listened to them or cared about them. Nobody really PFP'd them to a very high degree. Mm -hmm. But now that you have this community aspect, you actually have people you can relate to and you can connect with, which I think is almost one of the greatest utilities and benefits that you could ever, ever get from anything, from any project, from anything. Because in crypto, if you're a lone wolf, you're fucked. You're just 100% fucked. I've been a lone wolf. You you just want like unless you get really lucky, you won't make it. And even if you do quote unquote make it, you're gonna be there alone, and you're not gonna have a very fun time. And so, crypto is giving the or NFTs are really giving the aspect and and for people who are on a journey to learn more, on a journey to quote unquote make it, to be able to do it with another group of people, even if they don't know them, and even if they're on the opposite side of the world. And that's why I actually think crypto, uh, NFTs got really popular in 2021 was because of COVID. Like yeah. everyone was locked in their mm -hmm. fucking homes looking for ways to connect with other people. You know, and traditionally you go on Tinder and you swipe right. You got a girl at your house that, that night or that week. You're hanging out. But like COVID, you can't do that stuff. Or typically you call your friend. You're like, hey, bro, you want to just drive five minutes? I'll, I'll see you at Burger King. We'll grab a burger and a movie. Mm -hmm. Let's hang out. You, mm -hmm. you know that that form of human connection is necessary. Like without that form of human connection, you are like, you feel very alone. You can go into a very dark place very easily. Mm -hmm. And so I really think that that's kind of why NFTs got really popular early on was because of the lack of connection and the uh, ability to connect with like-minded people around the world, just because you owned a PFP of one another. Um, and it's what the top projects have done really well. They've constantly instigated the connection factor. D gods, uh, even sappy seals or, or bored apes. Like the very beginning, it, bored apes wasn't about a metaverse. It was literally yeah. about a group of people on the internet having the same PFP, and that's why that's why I joined Twitter as function because I saw this happening on another account I was on. I was like, oh, let me make a new account just to focus on NFTs. And like, I just, I'm about to buy a board ape. So why not? And I bought one. I PFP'd it. All of a sudden, I have a thousand followers and these people are all in my DMs. I'm in their DMs. How can we support each other? Like, that's the connectivity factor that I think most people overlook or take for granted, but what actually brings value to the NFT sphere.